Welcome to Junon. Uh, what we need to achieve in Junon is we just need to fight bottoms well. But in order to fight bottoms well, we're going to need to stock up on some more grenades first. Uh, and buy some extra potions as well. So what I do for this, uh, for this town is we, first of all, make a save state. And then uh, run straight up into the shop that's right up here. And now watch out for the D-pad on this room. This is an upright D-pad kind of room, so it's up left into up to get to the shop. And so here, what we want to do is sell everything except for our grenades and potions. So pop over to sell, and we have grenades here, potions here, sell everything else. So I whip over to the second column, sell, 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 just doing that. And then we want to buy 10 potions and 35 grenades at this point. Uh, again, these kinds of numbers aren't exact, like, like they aren't... Uh, exactly mandatory it's all just it's all just what works and ultimately it's in favor of having a certain amount of money later in the game um yeah ultimately it's in favor of having a certain amount of money later in the game which is which is very important so at this point you want to buy 10 potions and 35 grenades uh you can but my point though is that you can adjust your numbers uh as long as they is as, as long as you're still enabled to do the things that you have to do later so, uh, back out to buy, and then 10 potions and 35 grenades. So, a little bit faster. Uh, the way we do it is just right and double tap over to sell, go to the right column, sell everything but those, and then, and then back, back, left to buy, and then the potions are one down, so it's one down, up left for 10 of them, two down, up three times, and then right four times for 35 grenades. Uh, and so I, I, I really recommend practicing menus a ton to just get super fast at doing this every time. Just like that. All right, and then you just buffer down left out of the shop into down and go fight bottoms well. Right here, a cutscene starts. Oh, there's one more thing to mention, actually. There's two things to mention. If your party got really beat up during Calm Skip, like let's say, uh, let yeah, you know, actually Tifa is kind of scary here. If your party got kind of beat up during Calm Skip, you may want to cure them. Uh, but don't go too crazy on cures because you want Cloud uh, to have plenty of MP to be able to cast bios on bottoms well. Uh, but if somebody is, you know, below, like, I'd say like 75% health, uh, you should cure them. Alternatively, you could use a potion that you just bought to cure them also. If you're really worried about Cloud's MP. And if you haven't already turned it on A to be active... You should be on A to be active. It's needed for the next fight. All right, all right. So, welcome to the Bottoms Well fight. This fight is the most complicated yet. Uh, this fight is a little complicated. There are many different things that you have to do. But it is pre it's still pretty scripted anyway. So, my notes on, uh, my notes on Bottoms Well are pretty short looking. Because uh, it's not really that tricky but uh but how you start the fight is to bio with cloud right away and throw grenades with tifa and bear it right away uh just have that be your first turn bio grenade grenade uh preferably i would grenade with whichever of these two characters has a limit break so for me it's usually just, like i'll default to bear it i would rather it be bear it than tifa but if only Tifa has a limit break, then she should throw the grenade first. Shitty Mike Dash here again to correct old Dash. So it actually turns out that Tifa's beat rush is faster than Barrett's big shot. And in this fight, we're going to have to use one of those limit breaks. And the reason I'm talking about who's going to throw a grenade first, who's going to use a limit break, uh, what, to either Tifa or Barrett is going to have to use a limit break in this fight. Turns out it's better 
for Tifa to use it because the amount of damage doesn't really matter uh, and the beat rush animation is faster. So anytime that I talk about like, oh, I like to do Barret first, I actually like to do Tifa first now, and later when I'm like, oh, tack on the big shot, uh, tack on a beat rush. It saves about a second. So if he gets poisoned, then everybody should throw grenades uh, with it with you leading with the limit holder, right? And then when the third person steps up to throw their grenade, that's when you tack on a limit break to do that ATB active limit break priority queuing trick in order to get an extra attack in on, uh, on bottoms well. And then at that point, you'll have done enough damage from the bio, from the five grenades... Uh, from all of the poison ticks that happened from poison sticking and from the limit break, he's going to go right into his next phase where he bubbles a character. So after you, after you throw the grenades and you, and you fire off the limit break, uh, don't cue anything because you're going to wait to see who he, uh, who he shoots the bubble at. And unless it's cloud and cloud has low limit, we'll talk about that. Uh, generally, you should defend with that character to make sure that they don't die to the ending big wave attack. And then at that point, you just throw grenades at him until he's dead. That's best case scenario. So, what if the poison doesn't stick, though? Uh, Cloud did a bio. The other two characters did grenades. If the poison didn't stick on bottoms well, then just bio him again. And if it stuck, then do the grenades in the limit. If it didn't stick, wait do the bio again. If the poison stuck, boom, grenades limit break. But if it didn't stick, bio him again. And if Cloud runs out of po if Cloud runs out of MP before he's poisoned, your run might be dead. <laughs> it's real bad. It's real bad if that happens. And it's about it's about a 48% chance for it to stick, I think is the uh, is the is the estimation, I want to say. And so, here we go. Uh, let us show the bottoms well fight. So that was a lot of information uh, for you to to try to take in all at once. So let's actually show it happen here. We're going to do it a few times to get a couple different versions of this. So both Barrett and Tifa have limits, so I'm going to prioritize Barrett. So we go, first of all... Uh, with all four of these uh, materia equipped, bio is a single R1 down on the menu. So when you go to magic for cloud, you can just R1 down to bio, queue it up, and then grenades with the other two characters. And now watch this poison. It did not stick. So just hold circle for cloud to immediately queue up another bio, but don't do anything with the other two characters. It did not stick. This is real bad. Get another poison from Cloud. We've only got two more chances. Oofta! Alright, here comes our last poison. Or our last biocast. So, let's try again and hopefully show off a bottoms well that is successful. Alright, alright, so first thing is R1 down to bio, and then grenades with the other two. I did Tifa first, uh, I said that I like to do Barret first, but, uh, you know, oh well. Okay, so it was a, uh, it was successful, so I'm, I switched, cl I don't want Cloud's grenade to go first here, because we need to tack on a limit break. And so what I'm gonna do is, or, so what I'm doing is, I'm highlighting item with Cloud, so that when we get back to him, I can just double tap circle for a grenade, because it's going to be a grenade. But for now, I'm waiting for Tifa to get her turn back after her grenade. So, switch over to Tifa, queue up the grenade, uh, queue up Cloud's grenade, queue up Barret's grenade. So now the turn order is Tifa, Cloud, Barret. So that means Barret's turn is last. So during Barret's turn, uh, I'm going to put uh, Tifa's beat rush through. But because it's Beat Rush, that means we have to do the slots a little bit early. And then we'll put it through during Barret's turn. But now notice, the poison is doing a ton of damage. Uh, it, it actually, it, it even triggers more than once on him because of how his AI works. 
So we got the Yaz, and then we wait for Barret to walk forward. And then we put it through. And this almost just stalls time to get more uh, to get more poison ticks off. And now he does his uh, his his bubble. This is why we didn't queue anything up, because you have time to switch over to Barret and have him defend, and then you throw grenades with the other characters. And now, thanks to him being poisoned while we did all that, uh, and tacking on that limit break, he is gonna die to this grenade. So that was very fast, very safe. You can tell that this big wave is his counter uh, because your ATB doesn't empty, Barret's uh, health stops going down, and his poison glow disappears. Uh, so that was a much better bottoms well. We, re we, we need to, to, uh, to go through that real quick though. What happened was we did Cloud Bio with the grenades, poison stuck, so then we did all, well, we did grenades with all three characters, having Tifa go first, uh, and then we tacked Tifa's limit break on. Then we defended with Barrett because he's the one that got water poloed, and then we did grenades until we were done. Very very simple when written down, but it's a lot to have to pay attention to. In the uh, you know, it's a lot to have to pay attention to in the moment. It's sort of a flow chart, you know. the 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 strategy for this boss might be better expressed as a flow chart. Alright, so, Bio, bear it first this time, instead of, uh, instead of having to beat rush. Alright, first try poison again. So once again, don't queue up with Cloud right away, just highlight item, and queue a grenade with bear it first instead. Because, uh, because the boss is going first anyway. And we want bear it to go first so that we can use his big shot. So he goes first. The, uh, the boss has these long animations that um, that cause extra poison ticks to happen, which is like part of why poison is so good on this fight. When the third character stepped up for her grenade, we put through the big shot. Now he's going to water polo, so be ready. Don't queue up with anybody. Be ready for the water polo. It's on Barret, so flip over to Barret, defend, and then queue up grenades with the other two characters. He'll be dead after four grenades at this point. So one... Two, queue up number three, queue up number four. So that's a perfect bottoms well fight. All right, here comes another one. All right, so no bio, so then just bio again, and don't tack on uh, grenades this time. Just wait with the other characters. The most important thing is that we bio him until he is poisoned, and then we do the three grenades. There it is, so queue up the grenade with Barret, uh, Antifa, and Cloud. So Barret went first, Cloud's last in the turn order, so when Cloud steps forward for his grenade, we'll, th we'll fire off the limit break. You actually don't have to wait for it to be Cloud, but eh, I like to. There we go. So this was a second try bio, but you see the fight basically goes exactly the same. You just have to, you know, you just have to wait until he's poisoned to continue. <laughs> and there you go. Um, I would say, so the last thing to watch out for while you're doing this fight. The last thing to watch out for is Cloud's Limit Bar. The next battle that we're going to get into is going to be the Genova boss fight, which we are manipulating to be a preemptive fight. And so it's very, very important, just like with apps, just like leaving Guard Scorpion or the fight after with a Limit Break on Cloud for the apps preemptive, we need to leave this fight with a limit break on Cloud uh, for the Genova preemptive. Now, it's very likely for Cloud to have a limit break here. He almost always will because 
Uh, the second half of the motorball fight includes that fire attack that gives him like half a limit bar. Then you have the entire, you know, you have the traversal to the Chocobo Ranch, the traversal over the Junon, and then you have this boss fight where he gets big waved um, and possibly attacked early on. Now, the only thing to look out for, though, is let's say Cloud doesn't have a full limit by the time you get to this fight. Uh, and, and so you're on this part where Cloud got bubbled. Notice I've been defending with the character who, who gets bubbled. And the reason is because, th because their health gets drained while they're in the bubble, so they get kind of scarily low. And then when the, when the damage happens here, the char if you defend with the character, they only take half as much damage, meaning they're much less likely to die from the bubble. But, if Cloud doesn't have his limit break yet, then you probably don't want to defend with him, because you want him to take enough damage from this big wave to get the limit, you know? It's a little scary, though, because big wave can crit, it can also miss, right? You got, there, there's, there's little RNG factors that can screw you here, but just be aware that if Cloud is getting bubbled and he doesn't have his limit yet, uh, limit break yet, you might not want to defend with him to greatly increase your chances of him earning his limit for the Genova fight. All right, so there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about, which is if it comes down to your fourth bio. I didn't really properly explain this on that first example that failed. Uh, but here on this example, we can see our bio failed, here's our grenades, and so now we're just going to cast bio and see if the poison sticks. And if it does, we tack three grenades on, right? That's what I've been talking about. But we need to talk about the fourth bio if it comes down to it. Here we see another bio didn't stick, and so we're going to go for the third here. And this third one actually completely misses so now here's the deal for bio number four we go bio and then we put grenades on for the fourth bio that's kind of your hail mary at this point right where it's like if this bio doesn't stick we can't poison anymore and so just put the grenades on it anyway hope for the best and we see bio did stick that time and I put Barrett first because it's quicker to queue up Big Shot than it is to Beat Rush. Because right here, watch, uh, as Barrett's ATB fills up, I need to queue up this Big Shot during Tifa's turn, which is really tight. So it fills up, triangle over to Big Shot. Okay, uh, and I barely got it there. You know, it's a triangle over to Barrett, uh, down to wrap to limit, double tap circle, and, uh, and we got the limit in there. And so now normally... You would be fine if this happened. So now normally four grenades would kill him. The rest of the fight goes, uh, goes you know, the same way. Um, just that difference of bio grenade grenade. However, here we see something a little bit different happen. Uh, so there's the fourth grenade. And then he does big wave, but he's still poisoned. This is his natural big wave, not his, kill, his dying attack. And so he actually gets it off. Uh, and then a single tick of poison for 78 damage here actually kills him. Um, and that 78 damage is because that third bio actually completely missed instead of just not poisoning. And so there's the difference where on this example Tifa ended up dying, but the run can continue. Uh, if, if your bios don't actually miss and you get that fourth turn bio poison stick with those two grenades and a limit tacked on, then four grenades does work. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to, to add on here um, that I hadn't shown yet is if it's coming down to your fourth bio, then just put the grenades on and try to get that limit in as well and just hope for the poison on that one. And if it, and if it works, then the fight should go fine. All right. And I think that's Bottoms well. I don't think that there's really anything more to say about this fight. Uh, first try poison is very, very good. Second try poison is not too bad. Third or fourth try, pretty bad. You lose like 45 seconds.